How's it going everybody? Today we're gonna to install the Swim Easy panels, which are a perfect replacement system for any solar pool heating system that has a rubber coupling and hose clamps for all the panel connections, or if you're looking to boost a little bit of added heat. So every installation is different. So for this job in particular, we've already run our pipe from the pool equipment up to where we're gonna install the solar pool heating system. When you receive the shipment, each box is gonna contain either one or two panels. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So this is what the box looks like when you get it. Just make sure you use some caution when opening the box so that way you don't cut into the panel on the inside. All right, so when you open the box, You'll find two panels on the inside and inside of one of the boxes, which usually is the heavier box, will have all your hardware in this cylindrical tube. And you'll also have your important documents, which has your instruction manual, receipt, spec sheet, and warranty. So once you get the rolled up panels out of the box, the best way to take them out of the strap is to use a pair of snips or scissors. That way you do not cut into the actual panel because you could cause a leak. And so this is your tube that was inside the box. This will have all your hardware for connecting the panels and mounting them. So we've gone ahead and put together a shopping list for all the tools that you'll need to complete this installation. You're gonna need a drill, a 5 16 inch bit, a 7 16 inch bit, a hand driver, tape measure, scissors or snips, caulking gun, waterproof sealant, PVC cement, sawzall, and a 22 tooth sawzall blade for a finer cut on the PVC pipe. All right, so now that we've unboxed our panels, now we're gonna head up onto the roof and install our new Swim Easy system. So the easiest way to install these panels is to lay them flat out in the sun for about 20, 30 minutes. They'll completely flatten out, make it a lot easier for installation. Today, as you can see, uh, it's kind of cloudy, so the sun's not really out, so the panels aren't laying flat. What we're gonna do is go one panel at a time and continue mounting panel by panel. So for each panel, you'll receive one panel installation kit. This installation kit will have your rubber couplings and hose clamps and outlet header hold down bracket. That way you can attach the panels together and mount it to the roof. So the first step, once you get the panels laid out, you're gonna open up your bag and you're gonna take a rubber coupling, put the two hose clamps, make sure they're a little bit loose that way you can easily get them onto the panel. And once you got that, I'm just gonna wedge it right on the end of the panel until it stops. There's a stopper on the middle or in the middle of this rubber coupling here that only allows you to go so far. Make sure you're all the way butted up against that piece on the inside. And a little tip for easy installation and if for whatever reason you have to ever service these panels, easiest way is to make sure that these are tightened with them facing towards you, so outward. And always have them pointed straight up, that way during or over time with the expansion and contraction of the rubber coupling, the hose clamp doesn't spin. And just get them somewhat tight you don't want to over tighten them or strip them out when you have all the panels connected you're going to go back with your hand driver and hand tighten these but we'll go over that a little bit later so now i'm going to attach the panel next to it I'm just going to slide it right into place and same thing with the hose clamp just make sure it's towards the top and it matches the next one And then once you have that done, you're gonna take your outlet header hold down bracket with the other hose clamp, and you're gonna install it with the angled piece facing the rubber coupling. And a little tip, when you are installing your outlet header hold down bracket, 
Try to choose one side or the other, not in the direct middle. The reason why is because the panel header itself is connected inside this rubber coupling and you want the hose clamp to be able to hold tight. Then you'll take your flashing, just clip it straight on. So once you have your rubber coupling on and your outlet header hold down bracket attached, you're gonna lower the panels directly into place where you want them to be mounted. So once you have the panels lowered into place where you want them to be mounted, simply take your waterproof sealant. I highly recommend Lexel. Been using it a long time and it never fails. So you line it up to exactly where you want it to go. Shoot a good glob underneath. Then you take your lag screw, drill straight down into place. And with the outlet header hold down brackets, there's two holes. I highly recommend using both for added security. Then once you have them down, use more Lexel on top of the screw heads to make sure that all the penetrations are completely watertight. Now I'm gonna repeat that process for every top side of the panel that I'm connecting. All right, so now that we've done all of our outlet header hold down brackets on the top side of the panels, now it's time to connect the bottom side of the panels with the rubber couplings and hose clamps. So just like the top, you're gonna put the rubber coupling on uh, and loosen the hose clamp so it's a little easier to slide on. And then you're just going to attach the panel next to it, hold it down to where it's gonna sit on the roof if it's bowing a little bit. Make sure these are pointed straight vertically up to the sky. That way they don't slide with the expansion and contraction. And you just tighten them to snug. Because after we're done installing all the hose clamps, we're gonna go back and hand tighten every single one with a, either WD-40 or a silicone spray um, to, to make sure that it's completely tightened. All right, so now that we're done installing all the bottom header rubber couplings and hose clamps, it's time to do the wind load strap. So the wind load strap comes in a bulk roll. So you're gonna cut this to size and you're also gonna get the butterflies or strap brackets and the strap bracket flashing faces. In a normal DIY kit, there's gonna be enough for two rows of wind load strap. One of them is gonna be in the middle of the body of the panel. The other one is gonna be a minimum of 16 inches up from the bottom header. So how to do that is you take your tape, you're gonna attach it, and then with a crayon, you're gonna mark 16 inches. That way you know exactly where to install the strap bracket. If you happen to live in an area where high winds are present or could be present at any time during the year, I highly recommend going with our high wind installation kit. So what that means is it doubles up on the amount of wind load strap for the Swim Easy system. So instead of just two, there's gonna be four rows of wind load strap. Plus, there's gonna be a bottom mounting header bracket that has a tension spring that still allows the panel to expand and contract with the heat and the cold, but it gives you the best mounting security for the Swim Easy system. So once you've done all your chalk lines, the next step is to use your waterproof sealant and put a dab, a good dab on each single mark. That way you can have your wind load strap brackets and flashing bases with you and you just put them in place and drive a screw through uh, to mount them. Once you have all the wind load strap brackets mounted, you can run your wind load strap through all the islands. So when you get to the ends of the wind load strap, you need to use what's called a strap clamp. So the strap clamp is a small metal square and it has a nut on the top. So what this does is it allows you to loop back through the last wind load strap bracket and tie it together. So what I mean by that is you're gonna have extra of the wind load strap. So pull it a little tight and cut off a good eight to 10 inches of slack off of the strap bracket. So first, before you put it through the first eyelet, you wanna make sure the strap is nice and flush. 
and flat. Then you're gonna insert the strap bracket or the strap clamp directly on the window strap. And then you can feed your window strap through the bracket. And then from here, you're gonna loop it back and back through the first eyelet or the inside eyelet. Then you're gonna take your clamp, slide it through. You should give it a little bit of tension. And then you would take your hand driver, which is a 5 16 and you're just gonna tighten it. And then when you have extra, just take your knife and cut the extra off. And now your window strap is installed. So now once your window strap is done, the panels are installed. Now what's next is gonna be your end cap, your vacuum relief valve, and your two CPVC pipe connectors. Your DIY kit comes with what's called a row installation kit. This row installation kit has two long, which are seven inch rubber couplings, along with your two gray pipe connectors, your end cap, and your vacuum relief valve. The seven inch rubber couplings are designed to go on your feed and your return lines for the plumbing to allow for better expansion and contraction of the panel while connected to PVC pipe. Your end cap and your vacuum relief valve get installed on a short 3.75 inch rubber coupling just on the other ends. So when you're going to install your vacuum relief valve and your end cap, it's important to remember the end cap goes at the bottom opposite corner of your feed line and your vacuum relief valve is the top opposite corner of your return line. Now we've installed our end cap, vacuum relief valve, and our two pipe connectors. The only thing left to do is connect the plumbing uh, to the feed and return lines that we were already previously ran. As you can see, super easy to install. You get ultra performance out of the system, and it's a perfect replacement system for any type of solar bleeding that you have that uses the rubber couplings and hose clamps. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or visit our website at solarpoolsupply.com.